take that. Today is November 17th. I'm here with Willie Van Diver at Bill Jackson's house in Nixa. His birthday is July 18th. The year. 1943. Um, he lives living in Nixa now. I am attending with him, and my dad is here, and I'm here with Bill Jackson and Mary Jackson. Um, can you tell me what war you served in and the branch of service you were with? World War II, the United States Coast Guard. And what your rank was? Option, when I was free. When I, yes, can you tell me where you, where you served exactly in the war? Uh, the North and South Pacific. Were you drafted or enlisted into the war? I enlisted. Yeah. And did you pick which one you wanted to go into and why did you pick it? Uh, can you turn that off just a second? I joined with a friend. Do you remember your first days in service? Uh, yes. Yeah. I went to Alameda, California. Did my boot train there 28 days. Yeah. And this rolling and marching and tying knots. Yeah. We had a field strip of 45. In 28 days, and after that, I got shipped out to Seattle, Washington. Yeah. And that's where I started my service in Seattle, Washington. Was it hard? Oh, no. No? No, I did. Uh, you didn't have any problem going into service because in the CC camp, you learned it all. You knew how to, <clears throat> you knew how to uh, march in and stand at attention, salute the flag, and respect old glory. You had it all. So you got in there, you just put it down the road and the recruit had never been in the service or yeah. something like that. You said you served in the Pacific in World War II. Do you remember, were you, were you remember arriving there and what it was like? Uh, yes, we, uh, I, uh, <coughs> I was at this Coast Guard station in, in Seattle for about three months and I decided that I'd like to see some sea duty, so I put in for sea duty. And they shipped out in about two weeks with San Diego board ship. And we trained Marines down there. And then we headed for Alaska, the Lucian Islands. And uh, we picked up a bunch of soldiers in uh, San Francisco. And uh, we had an escort. We just had one escort. And it was the USS Gordon. It was a destroyer. And then the body came out. And that's the only escort we had. And the sea was real rough. I mean, it, it was the, uh, there's a destroyer just up above the water and out in the end, you know, it was real rough. Well, we got to, uh, I got to the Lucian Islands while well, this destroyer, it, uh, it went aground and broke in two and it sunk. Yeah. And we picked up the survivors, I think it's 176 of them. And we got into the harbor and dropped our anchor, and it didn't hold, and we went on the beach. So they, our ship stayed on the beach for 84 days during the Revolution Island. Did you ever get seasick? Not really. Yeah. Well, I've seen a lot of them that was seasick, yes. So. What was your most memorable experience? Being seasick? No, just uh, in general. Oh, we Bob Hope down on the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. Was like he that. with the USO show? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, did you get to stay in touch with your family a lot? I never wrote home at all. Yeah. For some reason, I just never did. Never got a letter from anybody. Now, were you married to your wife at the time, or no. did you meet her later? Mm -hmm. Later. How is the food? I think the food was pretty good in the service. Yeah. I, I didn't have no, no problem at all. Did you get any sea rations, or was it? Well, down in the islands of sea rations, but up there we had, uh, of course, being up on shipwreck, you know, we just ate whatever we had for a while. Hard pack, had some hard pack, had some hard pack. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys entertain yourselves in any free time? Well, up in Alaska down there, I guess the guy to play cards and stuff mostly, because, see, we didn't have any heat on the ship, and it, yeah. it wasn't, wasn't too pleasant. Was there anything you did for good luck, or? No, not really. It just, good luck just happens to you. Yeah. What did you do when you left? Left Alaska? Left your house to join the Army. Did you? 
You mean what? How, how did it go about getting out to where I was going? No. <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you recall anything that was particularly humorous or, or funny that you remember that happened to you while you were there or in training or anything? Ah, uh, not up in Alaska, I guess. No. I Nothing anywhere? No. And then my service, I went to uh, go to ship over to Seward and stayed there about a month. They towed my ship back to, to Bremerton Navy Yard. And uh, that was about 30 days, I guess, we I got back to Bremerton. Got to leave on the board ship in just a few days and headed for the South Did you guys play pranks on each other? Or? Not too much. No, not really. Were you ever um, wounded or anything? No. No? Did you ever see any combat at all? Yes. Yeah. Had a, a, up in Alaska, there had a few uh, smoke planes come over, mm -hmm. and uh, they dropped bombs, you know, yeah. a few times. I see a couple of them that just missed the ship on our side and, and on the other side. But whenever they get hit, they built a big airstrip up there, and the Army did. And when the planes come in, there was no more float planes around. They shot yeah. them down, and, and I didn't see that, but it's on the other side down. Yeah. And uh, the, the army drained a lake and put down the uh, steel mats and made an airstrip. And I mean, they got a ball. They really got one in. And so down that river. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember the day your service ended? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, that would be August 14, 1945. Do you remember what it was like coming home? And oh, not really. No? I rode a train home. Was it, were people very friendly when you got home? Or oh, yes. Yeah. Well, they celebrated jumping up and down and, and, and scraping. Yeah, the war was over and everybody was happy. Did you make any close friends while you were in the service? Yes, yes, I got. A few, I guess. Yeah, do you still keep in touch with any of them? No, not so much anymore. A lot of my friends are gone. Did you have you joined a veterans organization or anything? Oh, I, I was a member of the American Legion at yeah. one time for several years, yes. What did you do after you got home after the war? Oh, we got married. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Did your military experience influence your thinking about the war, the military in general? Well, not so much. Mm -hmm. now, after we, after I got home and on leave, see the ship left again, and I headed from South Pacific and spent several months down there. Thank you very much. Is that it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs>